The Kenny Quest show was filmed live in front of a Cannes studio audience. All right, got some new kicks. Got me some badass biker shoes with heels. Kind of a first for me. So trying them out, seeing uh, how different they perform than my uh, regular riding shoes, which are kind of a sneaker type. But uh, it's got a reinforced toe, but uh, really no protection up here. So we're gonna see how they, they fit, if I can brake and if I can shift, all that good stuff. Got them at the uh, motorcycle shoe section of the Western Wear store, <laughs> of which they had two kinds of motorcycle shoes. But I'm not gonna call these motorcycle boots, so I'm gonna say that they're in the style of motorcycle. And then if uh, it works out, something with the heel, then I'll see if I can find something that's more, it's got more protection up top. So I added this camera, I picked up another Hero 4, and I'm using one of my NoPros as a camera on my shift. And then I'm gonna try different locations for the camera. You know, there's a spot here, get my brake area. I tried it zip tied to the sissy bar and I wasn't getting good results, I was just getting my back. But uh, maybe I can try the fender. So just trying to make it more entertaining for everybody watching. Coming up soon, I just talked to Harley Davidson dealer about doing some exhaust and some air intake modifications. So that's gonna be the next mod. Um, I still haven't had Wander Remoto work on my brake pedal situation, but that is the plan, is he's gonna put on the part that I ordered from Death Metal Racing, Boosted Brad on Instagram. He's gonna do that so I can get that done. And then handlebars are an option that we're looking at. I'm looking at some Biltwell products. The Frisco bar is on there and then the MX Moto bar. That's my two choices that I've limited myself to based on what I feel might work. If I don't like the handlebars, you know, just change out to something else. You know, it's no big deal to me. I just want to get it right and make it look good and then feel good. And if it doesn't feel good, but it looks good, I'm going to go with what feels better. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Cool. So let's jump on. We're going to do a mail run and talk about these boots. But first, we're going to Willie's Tropical Tattoo, where Kenny Quest Show correspondents Hale Ryder and my neighbor Maddie are working on a new segment for the show called Chopper Interviews, where we ask chopper builders about their bike builds with questions from a new rider's perspective. So let's head to Daytona Beach, where Hale Ryder and Maddie met up with Drew Redinger, a cool chopper builder from Montana, who turned a life tragedy into a purpose of joy and happiness. Chopper interview, scene one, take one. It is. Okay, so how long have you had this bike? How long I've have you had it for it? Uh, three years. Three years. Well, actually, wow. four years. I had a big, massive motorcycle wreck in the middle. I got it for, I bought a bike for a donor bike, and then I, I had a bad wreck. And then uh, I, after I got done with the wreck, uh, I got all healed up, and then I continued to build the bike despite everyone telling me you're gonna build a bike with no front brake and, and a rigid. You're gonna still ride it like that, and so that's where it all happened. So yeah. you're. You, you take the front brake off yours. I've seen. Well, in this case, this bike doesn't really need it. Um, it's got. I upgraded the rear brake so that it uh, okay. add more power so to it make it happen. And on these kind of bikes, you have to kind of ride a little different than you would on, like, you know, a bike that is like a, a stock bike or. That's or honestly, else. it's kind of comforting to hear that you enhance the rear brake because I keep seeing, you know, ones without the front brake. And as a new rider, I'm like. Why? Well, you, you have to be kind of on it, and you have to plan right. for like the brake. Back, the brake's not going to stop you. Really, right. you're just skid. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And really, uh, the front brake. I've had a, the wreck I, I've had before. It didn't mean that I didn't stop. I just skid it through. Just get it through. Right. Yeah. So, you, you you makes you a better rider by riding without a front brake. Because you can plan ahead, and you have to be. Right. When you ride a rigid bike, you have to pretty much know that ahead of time. Yeah, you're kind of that you have to, to like be in really the in the zone on it yeah. all the time. Yeah. Especially down sense. here in Port. I live in Montana, and we have like wide open roads right, and no right. traffic and no but anything. Here, and so here, we have the here it's the like I4. it's yeah. chaos, it's right? Chaos. So all the time it's like exactly. a fast-paced video game that you can die in. Yes. Right. <laughs> right. No, that kind of leads me to: Would a chopper be a good first bike in your opinion? Um. If I would have started with this bike 20 years ago, I wish I would have. But I, I like started with other bikes and it kind of worked my way into this. That's an interesting take on it because recently we've just been hearing either mostly no and then some yes. 
but for you to say, I wish I may have, you know, I wish that maybe I started on this one. Right, but I learned a lot in not doing it that way. Right. Like, I started out with normal stock bikes, right, and I would, right. like, bring them home, take everything off, didn't make it go fast and stop. Yep. And then that was kind of, like, my version. But this bike I built, my dad passed away in leukemia, and so this bike's name is Captain Jack. And it's white because he was a Navy captain. Yeah. And so I always wanted to do a white bike, and all everybody was like, don't ever do a white bike, you're going to hate it. And I'm like, I'm doing a white bike. Yes. This is my dad, Miss Captain Stars on the oh, gas tank cap. I love it. So it's, uh, the it's C beautiful. in the, the back fender has a mural. Our little vintage, so it's a white C and a white J. It's it's like in reversed. So if you look at the back fender, you won't see it, but there's a white C and a J that kind of that's for Captain Jack. Thank you. For that. And his his star his star. My mom gave me his star to put on the on the gas cap, and it kind of. So every time I ride, I'm like me yeah. and me and my dad are ricking down the road, that's you know. Amazing. And, and I ride it every day. It's my daily driver. That just gave me goosebumps. No, oh. it, it, it is good, you know, yeah. and it makes me feel good too. Cause I love it. It's been, it's been around, I, but I bought a stock bike and then I made it a donor bike. So then I built, I took it all to nothing and got a frame and I built this. Right. Oh, it's this fabulous. is the first time I've ever done anything like this with it. And then it's just like, it's what it's been in my brain for like 40 years yeah, yeah. that I've wanted this bike and just happened to and finally get it like done. And now you've like made it happen. Yeah, and I wanted a reliable bike. So I did an Evo motor instead of like a shovel or something older yeah. where I had to work. I wanted to be able to just... Ride and ride and ride, ride and, and go. Not have yeah. the limitations of having repairs all a lot. Absolutely. But it seems to have worked Absolutely. out so far. Absolutely. It's been running like this for a solid year now, and probably 15,000, 20 miles a mile. Wow. wow. I mean, it is. Right. We had to trail around down here because it's still blizzarding and such in Montana. In Montana, so yeah. 36 hours of driving, and we were down here. Yeah. But Dang, it was worth every penny. Yeah. yeah, not that far. <laughs> Just 36 hours. You no wouldn't think deal. too much about it on an airplane. <laughs> That, I mean, wow! Yeah. You you really have a spectacular bike. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Super appreciate it. Thanks for the sticker for you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Do you mind if we take some photos with oh, your no, bike? Oh no, help, help yourself. We won't touch it. We'll oh, just take some photos. To. You can climb on there if you want. Oh yeah, thank have at you. it. It's, no worries. You guys have at it. Fabulous. Thank you so much. You're really welcome. Appreciate yeah, thanks. it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. It's interesting with the heels on, kind of the inside of the underneath the heel grabs the back of the foot peg, so it kind of limits your mobility. So I'm not a big fan of that so far. It doesn't seem to affect the braking. In fact, rear braking feels a little better because the uh, toe of the boot is right on top of the brake and I can throttle the the pressure by uh, wedging the heel between the back of the foot pedal on the brake side but on the clutch side it's a little more difficult to get my uh, boot underneath the clutch lever yeah I like the brake feel with the boot on definitely a clutch lever is different I gotta kind of wedge get my foot in there at an angle to make the shift happen obviously shifting down is easy because you can go around top of the shift peg but like anything it seems like you can just get used to it all right head to the post office neutral game yeah so with the boot neutral works great I can find it that's pretty awesome so yeah I mean they're pretty cool looking got the yeah brother look but uh, you know the toe is definitely reinforced a little bit but there's no protection up here. I don't wear, I don't think I've worn anything with a heel before, so this is kind of uplifting, if you will. But uh, I certainly feel badass. I guess that's uh, part of the appeal, huh? All right. Ooh, we got something. <laughs> a tree surgeon he said he was personalizing his uh, his stickers what no turbo no fun any a turbo and we got skulls yeah brother and we got mystical stickers and a smiley face ram and speed baby <laughs> nice yeah, so he said, uh, hey man, I got buttons now available. And uh, since I got 
Hey, look at that. T-shirts and stickers. And he posted up some stickers that I didn't have, so I went ahead and got me some. <laughs> In crust we trust. The FXR. Nice. All right. You got the Brapstar Demon. Looks like he's eat, uh, eating a spark plug. And uh, Arab Honey. Too trash to thrash. I got this t-shirt, so I wanted to get the sticker. Skateboard. That's pretty cool. Oh, dude, that's me, man. In like 20 years, right? Skateboard. Yeah. You guys want to see some skateboarding content? Let me know down in the comments. We can thrash around a little bit. Maybe ride the bike to the skate park. See me spill a few times. Devil Rides Triumph sticker. That's pretty cool. But check out these pins. And we got the... Brapstar Campout coming up next month. Not sure when this video will post. Whether it will post before or after. I was thinking about putting these on the vest a little bit. Here we got Shay. We got the uh, Brapstar logo. On this shirt here, or one of the shirts, this is on the front and something else is on the back. Oh, the Keep It Shady one. That's right. Got the Brapstar there. Shade Trees button. Brapstar official logo. Uh, save a sportster, chop a hipster. I got that sticker too. That came in last mail run. That's pretty funny. So since I have a sportster, that's definitely for me. Yeah, I'm 90% sure I'm gonna keep the sportster and and uh, just add to the collection. That's kind of how I feel at the moment. Pretty cool. Yeah, she's a cute girl. You know, I wish uh, Josh and her the best. All right, so we got the boots and we got some swag. So let's get back to riding. So overall, if you like the boots look, you're going out for an evening and uh, you want to arrive there in something other than what look like hiking boot or sneakers, high top sneakers. You know, this is another alternative. Now, I would definitely recommend purchasing uh, authentic motorcycle boots that have some reinforcement and padding up top. My purchase was not specifically for motorcycle, it was also for evening or dinner or whatever, that I have something past his dress, shoes, but also, uh, you know, something with some attitude. I really appreciate y'all tuning in for this week's episode. If you're uh, new here, welcome. If you're returning or a subscriber, thanks again for your support as I embark on my riding journey. So please leave a comment below on any uh, constructive criticisms. <laughs> yes, I'm open for criticism. Or uh, any comments on today's episode. Your input is welcome. I'm trying to build a community of friends and uh, not all friends, you know, are in person. No problem with a virtual friend. We used to have pen pals back in the day. Mm -hmm. So we got this platform to interact with each other. Let's do it from around the world. Do you ride a Harley? you ride a Sportster? you ride something else? Doesn't matter. I don't care. I like bike. So let's talk about bikes. Let's talk about rider safety. Let's talk about gear. Let's talk about all things motorcycles. So keep the shiny side up. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, it's Haley. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell for notifications. See you next time.